It's my feel-good breakfast show. This morning, we are absolutely honored to have one of the biggest selling and most internationally acclaimed South African crime authors, Dion Mayer, with us in the studio to chat about his latest book called Icarus. Now, Mayer's newest thriller has already received rave reviews and continues to follow one of the great detectives of contemporary crime fiction, Benny Grissel, on another suspenseful murder mystery. And Dion is right here. Dion, thanks for joining us. Very excited. The honor and the pleasure is all mine, you. And thank you, you know what? I I'm sure you have a lot of fans already. You know, they are so excited for the brand new book, Icarus has been described as one of the very best Benny Christel stories to date. Tell me a bit about the story and the inspiration behind writing it. I, I don't believe in, in inspiration as much as I believe in perspiration, you know. Um, you know, a book is like anything else. You've got to sit down and you've got to work and, and, and write at it. But the story originates from, from two things. The one thing is I wanted to do something about the wine industry in the Cape for a long time. For me, the... the Cape is all about wine. You know, it's when I yeah. grew up in, in, in Northwest province, there was this mystical, mythical thing about wine and Cape. So it, it, it's something that I wanted to do for, for quite a while, but I just couldn't find the right story angle. And uh, I saw a documentary called Red Obsession about red wine uh, a couple of years ago, and that was one of the germs of, of the story. The other one, I just got very lucky, especially in terms of the Ashley Madison data leak uh, quite recently. Yes. Um, I, I read an article in, in a magazine about a French website where, uh, and it's, this is so typically French, the French can log on to a website and if they want to have an alibi to be unfaithful to their spouses or their boyfriends or girlfriends, they can buy an alibi from, from this website. And wow. I just thought that that was such a, a fascinating thing uh, that I, that was the other idea that I got that I brought together with with the wine industry and that's where Icarus was born. Very very interesting actually you know nice uh, like a different kind of angle to what you would normally expect but I think what a lot of people like about your books is uh, the attention to detail and the research that goes into your books. Now what, what was it like I mean doing the research I mean you you follow the life of police officers I think they have a very very hectic life you're dealing with trauma on a day-to-day -day basis tell me how you approach uh, doing the research specifically from that angle to incorporate right. it into the book. Well, you know, I've, I've been very fortunate in that, especially at the Hawks, um, I have some senior people, some senior detectives who are willing to talk to me. I've spent time with the Hawks. I just have the greatest respect for, for the Hawks in Cape Town. I think they do fantastic work, but they work under pressure constantly. Mm -hmm. uh, political pressure, pressure from the public, uh, pressure from inside the, the police force as well, mm -hmm. and then the circumstances of their, of their work. You know, I mean... The, as you say, they work with trauma yeah. every day. They go to, to murder scenes, they work with crime and violence, yeah. uh, and that takes its toll. And I just have so much respect. You, you know, when, when, you, when you spend time with these people and you see how dedicated they are, how absolutely determined they are to make a difference, and for the pay that they get and for the thanks that they get and the respect that they get, yeah. I just, I, I, I respect them so much. Yeah, it must have taken you on a very interesting journey to really delve into what really goes on behind the scenes. And I think that also enriches the characters in your book because I think another thing that people love about your books is the fact that the characters grow and change with the story as well. I mean, do these characters almost become like real life people for you throughout the course of writing? Yeah, they do. You know, I spend more time with people who don't exist than I actually spend with, with real people. So, and I don't think the subconscious can uh, make that, yeah, yeah. it can, can't make that distinction. So for me, the characters become extremely real and especially when I finish a book then Benny Grisel is a guy that I worry about. It's like one of my children or a brother, or, you know, that wow. you know he's going to be in trouble, so you start making up stories again to keep him out of trouble, and that becomes the next book again. So they do become very real, and it's, it's a little bit weird, I must admit. <laughs> I can fully understand it. Listen, so people wanting to go out to buy the book, it's available at all good uh, bookstores now, but do they have to have followed the story of Benny Christ or can they just pick up this book and have a good read? No, absolutely. I write them as standalone novels. I think it's a little bit more fun to start from the beginning yeah. and follow Benny and Vaughn Cupido and yeah. Mbali Kaleni's journey as, as policemen and women. But uh, I absolutely write them so that they work as standalone novels too. Dion, once again, thank you so much. I mean, really excited to get my hands on that book. Thank you very much for having me, and I hope you enjoy that. Oh, look at that. Here we go. Christmas came early. Dion Mayer, Icarus. There we have it. Well, definitely cementing his position as a national literary treasure, Dion Mayer's Icarus is available now in most good bookstores. Pick up a copy right now. You will definitely not regret it.